Hello and welcome to the Metaverse Insiders interview series. My name is Josh and in today's episode we cover part two of our conversation with Shurik Agbatov, founder of Exola and XLA. So to resume our conversation Shurik, your mission is to democratize wealth, building revenue distribution for IP creators, owners and holders. Can you please elaborate on how you have proceeded with making this a reality? If you think about the today of the gig economy, when the Uber drivers can participate and drive the Uber on their own terms. Um, I, I believe in the future, very, very high, very high level job could be available with the similar model, but with the reward and the revenue share. You can imagine somebody who could sit in, um, uh, inside the Disney and creating the characters today for the Disney, maybe have a good salary, good compensation. Um, they might contribute and create a character for the indie project. It could be video game or animation or whatever uh, project. And, um, and uh, they can, can make those contribution and create a character um, for the 5%, let's say, revenue share, royalties. And uh, for entrepreneurs who create the games or indie project, they don't have a budget, they don't have a funding, they may be willing to give the 5% of the revenue share. Uh, and in that case, the entrepreneurs get, get um, the super talent who's, who work at Disney currently, who create, I don't know, the, the, uh, the legendary characters. And, um, and, um, and um, the creator, have the opportunity to get the royalties, um, which is we don't have inside the Disney Corporation. Disney is a great company. However, um, given the royalties to the employees, it's it's um, it's impossible to imagine because the Disney have a fiduciary responsibility to their shareholders and maximize the revenue as a public company. So, yeah. Is my coffee. Thank you. That's Perfect. my second. <laughs> no worries. It's a good way to start the day. So, so what I believe people will, um, like as I mentioned, the, the Disney character creators could contribute over the lifetime for the and build a portfolio of the revenue streams. And uh, um, some of them can have the very successful, some of them not. But ultimately, it's up to them because they get rewarded for the performance of the creating the character. They can choose what project to contribute. And because it's a revenue share, not the shares, that's really important. It's uh, creating this additional revenue stream to the month, month on the monthly basis, or maybe even daily basis. Uh, unlike the shares in the stock or tokens, when you hold, you have to choose when to sell them. Find the right moment is really um uh, not easy those days right <laughs> or so you you can have a lot of former well when you have a five percent of the sales it's just cup keep coming every every day or so and have you can easily imagine building the portfolio of those revenue share you can even pass it to the future generation of the royalties and uh, uh blockchain would allow us to do that and execute uh, um like um so in in a way internet strangers can trust each other or you, they don't have to trust each other they don't have to like each other even uh but yeah you can easily imagine that's uh i think the revenue share on blockchain that's another next wave of the uh so-called web3 um uh, iteration i think very important Oh yeah. Well, I agree with you that blockchain technology is vital for the success of everything to come in the industry, especially because it's going to be the effective economic backbone of the metaverse. I personally, well, really like the concept of blockchain technology, and I'm familiar with wallet infrastructure and everything that comes with it. However, I do know that blockchain to many people is quite a foreign concept. It's going to be quite hard for people to know how to port this into the new world. But under the context of being done behind a black wall, or perhaps where people don't really know about it, this can provide many benefits. 
I believe the gamers will learn. Uh, uh, a lot of the gamers learn how to do an admin the PC just because they want to play games. So my my 12 years old daughter uh, playing um, games at school and school not allowed us, so she has to learn how to install the VPN and what VPN is. Uh, so the games always crash, they never work <laughs> um, uh, perfect. Still, the, that's how gamers and, and the kids become um, confident computer users because of the video games, right? Uh, and uh, I'm pretty sure the mass onboarding will happen with the gamers. So you can easily imagine people playing in video games, but have the items, and those items go to the uh, custodian wallet and so on. And when um, you can have the opportunity to upgrade and move your items to MetaMask, uh, which is one step more advanced than just a uh, in-game wallet. And then from the MetaMask, you can go to upgrade to the ledger, uh, which is another step um, to become um, blockchain power users. And I easily can imagine how the games uh, could onboard massively the billions of the users uh, through the digital items. The one thing, again, uh, uh, the challenge here is alignment. The games just want to have, by their nature, they want to have the games inside. We don't want them to leave to the MetaMask because on MetaMask, we can discover other games. So, and I think a MetaMask doesn't want the people go to the to the ledger because on the ledger there's other monetization of the users how they uh, and, and, and so uh, those alignments could also solve be solved on the revenue share on the back end so um what imagine imagine the metamask would would pay revenue share to the to the video games who help them to educate the users um and what we're trying to to build with XLA, we want to create the items, uh, give away to the to the gamers, uh, and um, those wallets who accept those items, they also get the user. And uh, we want to item creators or item dist distributors get the referrals uh, on uh, build on a blockchain. It's very complex and and um, complicated, but because on, on, it's on a blockchain, everybody trusts it. You don't have to do the monthly reconciliation or anything. It's it's work as, as it's prog programmed. So you can easily imagine the ledger, if the ledger would pay revenue share to the MetaMask users, MetaMask users would help to upgrade the users to the next one, next level and educate. So massive alignment could be solved with the revenue share on blockchain. And unlike equity and tokens, it's uh uh it's it doesn't have you don't you don't have to care you don't have to be worried about the how the CEO of the company manage the expenses or so you get the you get the percentage of the revenue share and um yeah you don't need to think about when to sell the stock or tokens or exit for them. It's just revenue stream which is coming. Um, and uh, that's the idea how we, so the biggest challenge, as they say, is the coordination uh, of all of that. And um, coordination inside one entity is a challenge usually. Coordination on the people on the internet, it's even more uh, challenging. So that's a, um, that's a meta mall. and people today it's not it's not it's not quite ready it's not it's not the what i want it to be but people can subscribe on xla on emails and we're going to have this uh metaverse opportunity meta mall of the opportunities um and hopefully people would find a way how to earn the uh revenue share uh, and uh, as anything else in the crypto world the early participation is very, um, it's very um, rewarding because in the beginning it's probably going to be easy to acquire the customers and much harder 
uh, way to win. Yeah. What an exciting time. I feel like everything's at the pinnacle of takeoff. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm already there. I'm already there. It's just didn't, it, it's, I have a hard time to communicate uh, that with the world. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. We're more than happy to have you on. Well, I have a few more questions, if that's okay with you. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. I, I, as I mentioned, I can talk about my business all day long. Can I just get the coffee? Okay. I just get warm up. No problem. So you mentioned to us about your XLA Meta sites and the Meta Mall as well. I saw that you've also got a new feature coming up called XLA Multiverse. Can you please provide some insight into what this will be and how it ties into the previous features that you mentioned before? So, so everything what we do in, in Meta Mall and Multiverse, we're trying to help the people find the opportunity to co-create. So you can imagine. Um, so. So, um, imagine there's um, some sort of the IP exists in the Hollywood, um, which is not the top of the top, but it's okay. It's have its own niche, right? So I'm, I don't say it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a move. So I'm, I'm big fan of the. What, what's just an example? I'm big fan of the, um, um, the Highlander. Remember the old. Um, TV show. I grew up um, working at Highlander when it's a, um, it's about the uh, uh, immortal fi fighters and, and and who live forever. And uh, so imagine the some of the TV show where, where I got Highlander, which is not popular those days, but I I I, I am I, I still like it. Uh, Queen have a good soundtrack back then. And uh, imagine those creator of this show. Uh, would be open to uh, allow the community to go, go create and expand the universe, and uh, and uh, they can create uh, uh, they can allow to um, to uh, de developers and, and artists create uh, the various uh, um, characters sketches or characters in in three D uh, maybe some items like sword uh, different uh, different of them um and and community doing that but they don't have the opportunity to earn the money for that and uh, it's some sort of the gray area because they're doing that without the permission so they cannot really earn those uh uh money and they it, it's they do it as a hobby so what i'm thinking is we take this ip and we allow to community co-create um the not the fun art but with today, maybe um, every 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 piece of the potential of the the the, the content they can create the NFTs, they can create the three D items for the video games, they can create the uh, meta sites, they can create the um, uh, maybe with charge GP three or, or by themselves they can create the, the uh, new episodes uh, um, um, scripts. All of that, because of um, they could be uh, multiple div multiple creators on the internet can have a different vision. Some of them going to be good. Some of them going to be not acceptable for the for the IP owner. But but those who IP owner accept, they kind of to enter in the official multiverse uh, uh, partnership. That's mean um, I don't know if you if you if you saw the the Loki uh, TV show uh, uh, right on the some some universe Loki is a, is an alligator right you you saw the Spider Man all three Spider Man come together they have a different so that's a that's a concept of the multiverse so I just believe the internet users uh, creators was full of um, talented people who have the ideas and their own vision. Some of them could be surprisingly good. And, and in fact, I believe you cannot compete with creativity with your own fans. And uh, for the IP holder, uh, it's an opportunity to, to rejuvenate the IP, uh, create a more interest, and even monetize it, right? So if it's an NFT, NFT um, looks 
good, acceptable for the IP owner. They can accept it and they can now monetize these uh, NFTs. They can monetize their meta sites. They can monetize the in-game items. We can add those. We can help them to add those items to the Fortnite or Roblox. We can create the Snapchat lenses. We can create uh, YouTube content. We can create uh, uh, a lot. A lot of the things could be created. Um, and um, because of this, different users may have the different creators have a different paths. That's a concept of multiverse, and it's become so complicated. So alignment on the revenue share on blockchain again makes total sense. So you you contribute to the different TV shows, and, the t and uh, as a creator of the characters, you can c contribute to different stories and IPs. You can create a um characters based on books if you if you if you if you are a 3d artist and um um that looks like you contribute for the multiple multiple projects and have a portfolio of the revenue share and for ip owners since he, see um he opened up for the multiverse idea approve some of the creators they like and they have the portfolio of the revenue share and uh blockchain's guarantee it's 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 a way how it's intended to be. And um, previously it was impossible because uh, transaction on blockchain was expensive. Now with the plenty of technology when you can even like users spend 10 bucks on something and it's go to the, um, uh, I, don't, I don't know, 100 people to the revenue share. Yeah. Well, I love it how you're effectively enabling creativity to flourish. Because as you know, across many IPs, the fan base is so large and frequently these fans would probably do better job at creating content than the people who actually own the IP itself. Yeah. And we, and, and, and the, what is the content today is, is also broadly accelerating and expanding. I mentioned a few filters, right? But imagine, let's say you look into the Today TV show, I don't know, my favorite show is Succession, right? And, uh, and uh, you can easily imagine somebody... Um, uh, out there have the idea to create a how to create a um, snapchat filter or or ai ai filters when you josh and, and me get inside the scene of the of the succession and uh and uh we can be there and we can we definitely would spend 90 cents to just to um as a as a fans to to create an Instagram post, oh, I'm inside the show. You can you can make it right, and it's a and it's a digital content, downloadable content, um, and um, that could be fun also. Of course, it needs to be approved uh, by by um, um, IP IP owner, but it's easy to approve. It's it's really hard to coordinate and produce. So I'm trying to create a system when it's just once we in they. They have a streamlined approval process, and those those creators they have the opportunity to to work with the legendary IPs. Um, doesn't matter where they're coming from; they can come from anywhere. Fantastic! So, considering this is a platform which allows so many people to do what they like, or not what they like per se, but enable them to create what they like within the realm of a certain IP, are there any companies or relationships that you are currently in the works of making in order to help this happen? Yeah, we we actively um, talking with 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 some some of the IP owners and and um, and uh, and the producers. Um, I. I fund a lot of the digital items production those days. So I think it starts with the digital items. So you can see in the future, it's going to be abundance of digital items. Even if those digital items doesn't have the utility inside the games yet, but I think it's digital items is going to be like a, a digital memorabilia. So, and it's uh, everywhere you go, you will be offered to get the digital items. So from, for us and for wallets, uh, think about like the wallets we already know, it's a way to acquire the users. And uh, um, that's what we want, want to start. We're also going to uh, release uh, a few meta sites and we're looking at some brands and the, um, and the, and the IPs um, uh, who would help us to, to develop it. Um, um, we have a developer studio inside, and I fund 
some some of this uh, and the way how we do it we're creating one for the one for them one for us so one for the brand uh one for the ip we really have a passion about so it's not only like commercial kind of um um uh projects like you inside the advertising all the times you're gonna have a fun theme park uh with legendary ip i cannot tell you exact name names right now we subscribe for the xla but that's what we but i hope um people who read your portal will email me or subscribe for the for the for the for the updates basically what we do is we're helping to create the digital items and distribute them uh and we're helping the brands and ip holders to create the meta size that's where i'm 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 focused because my goal next time when we have a conversation with you maybe a few months later um i i i can show you something i can show you here's the link walk through this um city or here's the items you can experience yourself and uh whatever wallet you have you can claim those nft or digital item um yeah because of this interview or because of the whatever 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 our items we want to make them 3d by default so uh it's not like um um the flat nfts what we have many of them today so most of the items we create because we're coming from the video games and we have connections with video games we have we want to have this those items and give away and um and um when the people gonna carry those items think about it's like um, the cookie for the new internet so every site you go you accept the cookies which is basically the yeah the way to website remember you've been there so in the future i think every every website you go you will offer to be accepted the nft and um people and you can accept it or, or, or not accept it and um, those nft in your profile will show everyone on the internet what's what's your value what's you what's you keeping uh, and uh, maybe we can offer you uh some utility whoever have those nfts that's a way to airdrop or give a discount or or invitation so so i believe you're gonna get those items uh, abundance of those items um uh, on whatever you go on virtual worlds on the websites or real world you're gonna collect those items and that's a one way to communicate with the users and actually pay them for their attention so imagine you watching the super bowl commercials you get the drop and i don't know honeycan beer you don't drink the honeycan beer and you can pass it to to your friend or you can sell it on an nft marketplace and whoever have the honeycan beer nft can redeem this beer in a i don't know kruger uh, supermarket or whatever supermarket um um so that's that's how i see there's a concept people get paid for their attention with the items but also those items much more interesting than uh, any loyalty program um on any cookies um and uh, and um you can accept them not accept them you can sell them you can keep them you can trade them and uh and you can collect them um so it's it's a lot of items we need to we need to develop um that's what what we're currently working on and uh and if you subscribe for the xla we'll send out some of the items um yeah safe to say i'll definitely be subscribing i'll also be following xla more closely i'm very curious to see the trajectory that you guys are going in it's very interesting to speak to you and see where it's all going so speaking of cookies, I find that nowadays people tend to reject them quite a lot simply because they lack utility. People see them for simply what they are, a digital tracker. But in the extent of what you're saying is using or effectively using dynamic NFTs to have actual use cases, I can see that having a greater incentive for the general public and wanting to accept them because they'll have actual use. And I think that's why it has a lot of power. 
So this is a relatively new project of yours. Can you please give us a bit of insight into what you expect in the next few years to come? Because it's such an exciting space and I'm sure you have a lot on your mind of what you actually want to achieve. So as I mentioned in the metaverse, uh, there's uh, three opportunities. There's, uh, there's uh, places, the staff, items, and uh, with wallets. So with the upcoming show on GDC, we're going to introduce the, not the wallet, but uh, we're going to introduce the merchant. We decide we're going to create a character. It's a grandma, which is, um, will our metaverse merchant and trusted guide and store the items. Um, the, uh, we call her Babka. And uh, the Babka had a cat. And uh, the cat name is Nucci. Uh, Nushi and uh, and uh, the the Nushi cat is 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 eat only sushi. So Nushi likes sushi, and um, was uh, was gonna be uh, the the character. That's uh, that's um, you can uh, I don't know if you somebody you going to GDC. Uh, that's a game developer conference in San Francisco um, in two weeks. So we're gonna have a debut there uh, with the with the Babka. Um, followed us on 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 the on the news back from the San Francisco. Um, we're creating the items. We would love to create the items with microphone. Uh, um, if you if you can send a picture of the microphone and your logo, we're gonna make a three D uh, item of it, and um, we'll distribute uh, with you with your permissions, and maybe again. There's maybe some uh, revenue share tied to that potentially on the blockchain. And uh, the meta sites, we 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 have some of the those meta sites will be um, available in upcoming months or two. So stay stay tuned. It's it's gonna it's gonna be uh, a lot of challenges because it's it's a it's a very heavy cloud computation and uh, as any um, early games, they never release on time, similar to the video games. Uh, and um, it's hard to say what's exact, uh, what's exact um, meta sites gonna be released first. But we have dozens of them in production and pipeline with with IP on, on a website. Like, like we, don't even, we don't even start yet XLA or XOLA world so we're thinking about to create a solar um, um, meta sites for for our customers and the towns that we want to acquire. Just a three G world. Um, um, it's yeah. Um, so those three things. Um, I think that's what metaverse is in my definition, and we're working on all three of, of, of them. Well, thank you very much, Shurik. Really appreciate your time. Well, that's a wrap for part two of our conversation with Shurik Agabatov, founder of Exola and XLA. Be sure to stay tuned for weekly updates in the industry and content covering all things Metaverse. Follow the Metaverse Insider on Twitter and LinkedIn and visit metaverseinsider.tech for all our content. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.